quick video here. I haven't really colored much or done anything the last few days. I've had a severe migraine. I'm doing something for the red turquoise and white challenge. Wait, let's see. Okay, red, teal, and white only challenge. Um, I'm up for two reasons. One, my um, son, I had to get him off to school, but two, my cat's an asshole, pardon my language, and decided to drop my water on me this morning that was ice cold. We went after my um, Arctic cup that I used to keep my water cold for my pods. Anyways, the way I'm doing this is slowly building in layers of shading, ignoring these because I don't want those in there. And just, I've got it basically set to where the brush is, shoot, I'll put it, okay, so the brush is at 75 and the opacity is at 11. And I'm just kind of lightly using this, just filling in color. I'm still trying to figure out exactly where I'm going to do what with. I may leave background white and do the rest in teal. I'll let you know. I don't know what's going on with my holiday music this morning. It's uh, not playing what I thought. You know, just work with the lines they gave you. Gently add in layers a little bit at a time where you think things should be. And just not heavy strokes, just light ones. Create shadows. I've got this red selected. I started with this one. Went up to this one. I'm gonna go to this lighter one and kind of turn the opacity up because clearly that's not okay. And I'm gonna take a lighter red. And just, I've kept the brush size and the opacity the same. Just using this extra light red, and I'm gonna take it, put the brush size down to about 30. And work on the finer lines here to highlight them. But yeah, I was in the ER last night because my migraine got to a point that I couldn't take it anymore. And also I couldn't think, I um, managed to put in my passcode wrong one too many times. It sometimes will prompt me to put it in. Um, and uh, ended up disabling my password or my iPad and had to uh, reset it. Somehow I didn't lose all the artwork I already had. So, sorry, I'm gonna pick a darker red here. I'm not here yet, this. Check my brush size, the opacity is still, it's about 26. I'm going to bump it up to 33. Bump this down a little bit to like a 29, see what that gives me. And I'm really gonna just kinda flesh out the details here. Notice how they put a shadow under her chin. You can do the same thing. Well, speak of the asshole, there he is. He has no shame. He doesn't care. And the thing is, is I'm not even the one that gave him a freaking bath. Because I don't know where he got fleas, but he has fleas. So my husband bathed him. And you can see that I'm adding some definition here. Let's turn that up to a 54. The ER gave me a script for some stuff from the nausea for the migraines. 
Don't worry about if you get some of this dress. We're going to work on that. This isn't white. This is a very light red. You want a little bit down there. Go back up to this red. Your face is the same as I just showed you. I mean, it's, honestly, it wasn't, too, nope, that's not going to work. Let's turn this down, turn this down. So we got the pacey down to 20. Let's do 20 and 20, roughly, okay? And just, okay. And just... Line the lips. Basically what I'm showing you right now isn't so much how to do the challenge in all colors. It's how to do shading. And I'm still a work in progress on that. But I'm getting better at it. I've not mastered shading hair yet, so I'm not going to show you that. But now I've got basically what flesh tones. I've got a basic outline of flesh tones. We'll look and see how this looks. Let's get rid of these lines. And, uh, so I mean, you've got a good torso going there. Her, uh, chest is a little uneven, so I'm gonna have to fix that. So let's see here. Let's turn the brush size up to about 50. My PC down to late 19. My hus husband's laughing at something on the internet. Or my cat was an asshole again. Let's just keep in mind that none of us are the same size on both sides. I need to blend a little bit more red right here. Rocket science, really. Do I have to leave her on white lines? I'm wondering. Hold on. No, I don't. So, see how we flushed her out using clear. Yeah, it's a little more even. I'm gonna do an overall. Red increase my brush size to like. 70, and we have Pacey down to the 10 or 11. Don't be afraid to work on it. And just go with your flow. Artwork is about flow, not the girl from Progressive, just flow in general. So, let's do the lips. I'll probably do a little extra work on the, you want your brush size down, I'm gonna turn my opacity up to like 87, 88, 89, 90. And let's go to the lips. First thing I'm going to do is color them in with the, the red on the top row, the fourth one in from the lighter reds, depending on how your thing is set. But I mean, certainly if you want to do her lips in teal, sorry guys, or white or whatever, you you can do it. It's your it's your mind how you want to work the picture 
But note that when I'm doing these, I usually ignore the tattoos. It's not that I have anything, you know, problem with tattoos because I've got one myself. It's just that I like seeing. Okay. Now I want this brush size down to like 1%. And I'm going to start doing like tiny lines down. Just like definition lines on the lips. So here's where we could go white. What I'm trying to do is create a high gloss look on the lips. I don't want to do that. Trick the airbrush down to like a 5% using the white still. Like, so it's extremely light gray, really. Because that's where it's stuck at. See how she looks. This needs more definition. The opacity's down all the way. Brush size set to 28. Just laying the face a bit. basically using the darker reds to create shadow lines here. Let's see what we got. So, now you have, ah, uh, those aren't blended well. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take the smear tool Put the strength down a bit and try to smooth these these puppies out, if you will. My watch wants me to get up. No, off to a great start. I've been up and active since I don't know the cat waterboarded me this morning. So, I think I've got it pretty much where I want it. Once we have the dress and all, it'll be it. But here you've got some nice glossy looking lips. Once we add the hair in here and here, it'll be teal that I use for that. And it'll be a teal that I use for the dress, I think. Or I may leave the dress, yeah, I'll make the dress teal. Or maybe I'll make the hair white. 
I haven't entirely decided. But that's how I do shading on the skin. Um, no, you know, we're near, you know, perfect on that, but, so, and by getting rid of the lines, which is a no lines option, you, uh, get rid of these and all, so, that's basically how I do shading. I, if it's one color, like if I have a skin color, um, palette open, or if it's a color like red, use varying um, shades of the color to build in definition and, and lines and natural appearance. And for lips, do like a solid color and a really dark, same of color, usually I use maroon because I like the color on lips that way, but because the challenge is red, teal and white, her lips are now glossy red. And that's basically how I do my shading to make it here. And this is the first video I've done in a while because I've not been feeling well. What with the migraine, and I believe the Raylan that I took with the Benadryl and Motrin this morning is kicking in because I'm feeling a little drowsy. Or it could be that the waterboarding that the cat did to me this morning. Stop laughing. It's actually, he spilled my drink on top of me. I keep cold water in my room because I've got pots. I get thirsty at night. I have a headboard um, that has a bookcase stuff in it that doesn't have books in it. We usually just put stuff in there we want to get. And I got up to having that cup poured on top of my head from the cat. Not the best way to wake up in the morning, especially like five minutes before your alarm. So, I hope this was helpful. I'll try to do remember to do more. Hopefully, a more challenging challenge comes up soon, so I can give you a decent thing. But this is how I do shading for skin. Um, my name is RH Designs on uh, Color Therapy, and. My real name is Rachel. It's spelled with an extra E on the end. And it's always said wrong by everybody in the nature of humankind. Um, have a great day. Hope you're doing well. And if I don't do another one of these before Christmas, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy whatever holiday you celebrate. And Happy Day if you don't celebrate any at all. I'm out.